Okay, I think I got a plan. Got a thin parallel in there that's about the right height. This is exactly 90 thou. So what we need to do is touch off the top of this, go down 390 thou. So I load her up here. Let's see what we got. I got my coolant over there, or my spray spray bottle. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it. Okay. So crank it over here. Down. Touch. Lock the spindle off of there. All right, now we want to go, we want to bring the table or bring the knee up 390 thousandths. 300 is the width that we're going to end up with and 90 thousandths to, to accommodate the width of that. So we go 100, 200, 300, and exactly 90. There we go. That should be it. That should be where we want to be. Um, I'm going to lower you down a little bit. Get the angle in there better. I'm going to turn that light off again so you can see better. I find that that light works fine for me seeing but it's not so good for you guys be able to see anything. Get it an angle a little bit. Alright, so here we go. We'll give her a shot. That might be a little too fast. Come down this side just about to the end and then go back and then come down the other side uh, on the back side. Stop right about there. Yeah, 
Shouldn't be much holding it now. It's a little sliver in the back. There we go. And <clears throat> I'm going to make a fixture to load it on this side and it'll clean up the boss around here. The same as what we've done on this side. It'll be just a little fixture to load on the two holes. So, one down. And uh, now I can load on the other side. I'll load the other side up and I'm going to do the exact same thing as what I just done. So I'm going to cut away here and I'll be back when, when I get that done and them cleaned up and I'll be back when I get a fixture built. I'm just, what I'm going to do is take a fit and build a fixture that just loads with a, with a, a shoulder screw in this hole, in, in the 3 8 hole, and in a, a 3 16 screw to hold it in place. So, I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, made a little made a little fixture on the plate. And just drilled the holes in and bolted that part down. I'm only going to run part of the program. Right now we're supposed to be sitting one inch above. So, I'm going to move over. And then I'm going to put my height setter on there and bring her up until she touches. view. <laughs> Alright, so we should be ready to go. Hopefully. Oh, I got my spindle turned off up here. Reset. Cool. Now it's going to think that there's a block out there, but there's nothing there because the part's already done. Well, the only thing I want out of the program is that and that. I could have edited the program, but I'm lazy. I'm just going to run the first half of the program. If I wouldn't be lazy, I would have just edited it. <laughs> I would have modified it. But this will work. Same thing, it takes materials off the back side. There's no material there. I get these done, I think I'm going to turn up the pistons next. <clears throat> and then after that will be the rings. 
So I'll get the pistons and rings done. I have some I have some cast iron for the rings. And the cast iron that I use is it's called nodular cast iron, which is uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but the granules in the nodular is are round. Uh, the other cast irons, they're flaked. And uh, nodular holds up better than the plate does. Doesn't break. Has more pencil strength, I believe it is. Yield strength, not pencil. Yield. Gonna hit that screw again. There we went. We hit that screw. We hit the screw over there. Right there. Finish pass around that, finish pass around that. When it raises up, then I'm going to stop it. Bearing caps, I'm going to trim off too. They're too long right now. Okie dokie. <clears throat> no, so there's one done. I'm going to do the other one the same way. And when I get done, uh, I'm going to deburr them and clean them up. And. I'll come back after that. <clears throat> okay, I am not going to go with uh, the style piston that they have in the plans. I've come up with my own. Oops, doing it my way again. Um, instead of, they're calling out of inch and 250, I'm going to go inch 20, 125 long. And I'm going to put the wrist pin at from the back side, from the skirt side, 545. It'll still give me the same distance that they have in the plans from the center line of the pin to the top of the piston. The piston diameter will still be 750. I will not go with set screws, two, two set screws. I'm going to put Teflon plugs in on both sides instead. Um, what did I figure this seven eighths out for? Oh, the bottom of the, the bottom of the, from the skirt, this would be from the skirt, not from the, it would be from the skirt, all the way from the bottom of the skirt, 750, the pocket here. 
if it's going to be 750 that's enough to clear the 3 8 that's going to be in there because right now it's 545 to the center line of the pin so it's a 3 8 diameter uh, let me measure that real quick oh I got it. I have them on the motors I have them on the motors here so um so this diameter the wrist pin the wrist pin diameter is the diameter that I'm looking for which is I thought it was three A's for some reason yep three A's so that means that means this pocket depth need not be any deeper than um, than 750 deep. Uh, the width of the pocket is going to be 5 16 wide which will give me a little bit of clearance. The rings the ring uh, depth I'm going to go uh, a sixteenth wide and uh, about about thirty six thousandths in thickness wall thickness of the ring, so that'll give me uh, about a seventy ID. So that'll give me six ten plus nothing. I figured I hold it to minus two thou. Plus, plus nothing minus two thou on the uh, ring depths. That'll give me eight thousandths of compression of the ring com can compress into that slot. Um, the pit, like I said, the piston is going to be aluminum too. It's not going to be cast iron. It's going to be an aluminum piston with cast iron rings. Um, so. I'm going to go and get going on this and see what I can come up with. Um, I don't like, like I say, I don't like, uh, well I'm not going to put a cast iron piston in it. I don't like cast iron riding on the uh, steel wall in there, extra weight slinging around and I, don't, I just don't like it so that's what we're going to have. We're going to have an aluminum piston. So, but anyway, this is kind of the numbers that I came up with. This is an old drawing that I made once before in one of my motors, and it worked. But but back then I went and made uh, two set screws to hold the wrist pin in, and I have recently gone to Teflon plugs, and, and it's less work. Just push a Teflon plug in on each side. If they move, they'll come out and ride the uh, cylinder wall. I ain't gonna hurt nothing. Isn't going to hurt nothing. So, anyway, I gotta find some material. I had some 750 in there, but unfortunately, it didn't run true enough. So, to uh, I want to hit about a thou and a half to two thou undersize. This and this piston that I made before did run in uh, steel um, steel liner, so I know that even getting warm, it's still it's, it seemed to work just fine. So enough jabbering. I'm gonna go and see. Oh, um, I did put them on the journals. They are a little. There's a there's a little bit of snugness in them, but it's not bad. It, it once run it one time or a little bit, and it'll be just fine. They'll they'll be just fine. So I I did not cut the I did not cut the caps down. I was going to do that, and I still am. I'm just going to cut these caps down because they're too they're just not proportional. So I'm going to measure this on the rod. And hold the same thing on the cap, so the cap will look quite different. Well, it'll get milled down to the tendency of that, of the land for the spacer in there. So that's just something that'll 
quick do. But for now I'm going to go get some aluminum and start turning up a piston. And we'll see what we can come up with. Catch you later.